In today's video, we are going to address one of the biggest misconceptions about the original Broly. And this is the mere fact that the original Broly is somehow an evil version of Broly, but yet the super version of Broly is not evil. So the first thing that we will do is we will compare both Broly's in their base forms, which they are basically identical in Broly's base form in both Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan and in Dragon Ball Super Broly. He's completely calm whenever he's in his base form. The only threat is that if Broly gets angry, he becomes a significantly greater threat and becomes much more dangerous to the characters around him, which is why in both cases, Paragus obviously had to have a device that kept him under control. Very similar to the Incredible Hulk, where it's like you're calling Bruce Banner evil when in fact, it's the transformation and the rage within him himself that makes him go out and act extremely aggressive. And as we can also see with other Saiyans, it's also shown that turning into a Super Saiyan in general makes the character significantly more aggressive just naturally. And to be specific with Broly from Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan, we can see that literally every single time that he acts evil or aggressive, it's always whenever he transforms into the legendary Super Saiyan or when he's like in his pre-transformed state. And we even see this in Broly's Second Coming where every single time that Broly acted aggressive in Broly's Second Coming, it was literally because he was in his Super Saiyan state or his legendary Super Saiyan state. And this is magnified even more because when Broly transformed into the legendary Super Saiyan when he was fighting against Gohan, he got even more aggressive. And even in Bio Broly, which obviously is, you know, clearly a different type of Broly, but for the brief second that we saw Broly in his normal state, he was calm in his pod. He wasn't acting aggressive at all, and once again, it takes some external catalyst in order for him to start acting like this. So, this whole notion that Super Broly is not evil, but the original Broly is, it just never made any logical sense. Now, the key difference between Broly from Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan and Broly from Dragon Ball Super Broly is the fact that we saw differences in how Broly behaved as a kid, where the younger Broly in Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan was capable of turning into a Super Saiyan from a young age, which is ultimately why Paragus was able to lose his eye. And obviously, because of what Paragus knew from so early on, he knew that Broly obviously had a transformation that made him lose his mind. But then when we compare this directly to the Broly that we see in Dragon Ball Super Broly, when he's a kid, he does have moments where he's shown aggression, even though it was more so showed off screen when he was killing those bugs on Planet Vampa. We can still see that Broly as a kid was never able to have any type of transformation because the transformations were obviously saved for the fight against Goku and Vegeta, obviously. But you can clearly see that when in a normal state, both characters were completely calm and Broly in Dragon Ball Super Broly was even able to make friends with an animal on the planet by the name of Ba. But the biggest difference in all between Broly from Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan and Dragon Ball Super Broly is the level of intellect. Because when Broly transforms into the Legendary Super Saiyan in Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan, he becomes significantly more intelligent as compared to the Broly that we see in Dragon Ball Super Broly. And the key difference is, is that in the original movie, when Broly transforms, he actually talks and says things outside of just Kakarot. He actually talks down to the other characters like he's a wrestler intimidating another one. And because of this, and the dialogue that he had and the sadistic pleasure that he got in doing his acts, it would make one think that Broly was actually evil. But once again, he did all of these acts when he was transformed. He doesn't naturally behave like this. The transformation is forcing him and pushing him into this. In a similar way, it's like Broly's legendary Super Saiyan state is some state of mental illness where it takes the natural aggression of Saiyans combined with their programming and just makes him act significantly more aggressive than he normally would, combined with also having more intelligence growing up in the environment that he had with Paragus in Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan, because it's implied that he had more of a normal life growing up with Paragus as opposed to the Broly and Dragon Ball Super Broly that grew up on a planet with bugs. By that nature in itself, it would make sense why the original Broly was a lot smarter and why the newer Broly is a lot dumber. 
But in both situations, the dialogue doesn't go past the fact that all of the aggressive behavior that Broly had is simply just the manifestation of its transformation in itself. And this is something that we also saw with Kaba in the Dragon Ball Super manga, where he discussed the demonic Saiyans when he was talking about Kale and how she was basically going through the same thing. If, by the logic, you're calling the original Broly evil, or even if you're calling Dragon Ball Super Broly evil, then you have to call Kale evil too because of how she was getting a sadistic pleasure out of wiping out the other characters in the Tournament of Power. And just like the original Broly, we can see that when Kale is in her base form, just like the Broly that we saw in Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan and even Dragon Ball Super Broly, she's a completely normal character. But once again, it's the rage combined with the transformation in that demonic-like Saiyan state that obviously pushes her to acting aggressive the way that she does. But ultimately, guys, the saddest thing about Broly is that he's ultimately a very tragic character when you think about it. Specifically, the original Broly that actually died like three times because, I mean, he was clearly meant to be dead in the first movie, but obviously... When money talks, you have to produce a new movie to make the fans happy, so then they came out with another Broly, and then when money talks even more, you end up creating like a biological form of Broly because you want to make money so bad. But despite how powerful the influence of money actually is, it doesn't go past the fact that Broly in itself is a tragic character. The original Broly, because he was just a normal Saiyan, you can say. I mean, and he, in his normal state, was completely docile. But, because of how he was just naturally born with that aggressive legendary Super Saiyan state, it made him lose his mind. And, as a result of that, he had to be put down by Goku and his friends multiple times. It's a very sad case when you see a character that gets so befuddled by another baby crying that he basically grows up and wants to kill that other individual simply because he was taking away some nap time when he was a baby. But, even though that's a very simplistic way of looking at it, you can clearly see that Broly was never stable from the beginning simply because of the fact of what he was born to be. This is very similar to the case that we see in the movie Fusion Reborn where that teenage demon-like character essentially gets transformed into Janemba. And had Gogeta actually killed him as a part of the entire Janemba battle, it would be a rather tragic case. We even get another example similar to this in the Last of Us series, where the parasite itself is making humans act so aggressively, even though for the initial stages they're still conscious of still being humans, but the virus itself and the host is essentially forcing them to act outwardly aggressive towards others. And for all of these reasons, that's why the original Broly was never evil. And if you want to call him evil, you have to say Dragon Ball Super Broly is evil, or you have to say that Kale is evil too, because they all essentially go through the same thing. The only difference is that the original Broly was a lot more intelligent, and because of that, combined with the form that he has, it made it seem like he was actually an evil character.